One of the highlights of this year's IDEX is the unveiling for the first time of the Emirates Defence Technology Enigma 8x8 Armour Combat Vehicle. This has been designed, developed and the first prototype built in less than two years. As you will see it is an 8x8 vehicle. One of the key features of this vehicle is it's got steering on all eight wheels which is very valuable when operating on urban terrain because it's got a very tight turning circle. The vehicle has a hull of all air steel with an applique armour package for higher level of detection. The actual combat weight depends on the version but it is typically around 28 tonnes. As you can see this particular version is fitted with a complete turret of the Russian BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle which is used in large numbers by the United Arab Emirates. This is the most powerful turret of its type in the world and is armed with a 100mm gun fed by an automatic loader which in addition to firing conventional nature of ammunition can also fire a laser guided projector out to a range of 5,000 meters. In addition you see it has a coaxial 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. The vehicle has been designed to take other weapon stations up to a weight of about 5.5 tons. These actually could include a remote controlled 57mm turret, um, an air defence turret from Rheinmetall with a 35mm cannon and even with a modified hull a 155mm artillery system. This is the very first example and is expected to be followed in the near future by additional vehicles. The baseline vehicle is fully amphibious but powered in the water by two water two propellers at the rear of the hull. It is powered by a Caterpillar engine cu coupled to a Caterpillar transmission which gives a very high power to ratio of about 25 horsepower to the tonne. The United Arab Emirates have a requirement for some six or 700 8x8 vehicles and I consider this to be a serious contender because in recent years there has been a clear trend in the Emirates to become self-sufficient in weapons and vehicles and this could be one of their future production vehicles.